And you're a vampire. No, sir. What would possibly make you think that I am a vampire? Well, okay. The medallion? I just like to dress nice. Is that a crime? No, but you are out here at 2 a.m. Maybe that's just a nice hobby. I like to walk the streets at night to London at 2 in the morning. Is that against the law? And besides, if I were a vampire, I would sparkle! Not like the really gay vampires do. Hey! <laughs> you, sir, are a vampire! And I know exactly how to kill you! The power of curse compels you! The power of curse compels you! I do not think this guy knows exactly how to kill a vampire! It's me, Nate, a.k.a. Devil Dog, here with... Dead Man Bones, baby. And we just got back from seeing the movie... What's it called? Renfield. Renfield, that's right. Uh, a lot of people are on the fence with this particular movie because they've seen it has Nicolas Cage playing Dracula. And uh, it centers upon uh, basically following the character of Renfield around. And um, I didn't really even know what the hell this movie was when I went to go see it at first. Other than some trailers showing like um, him like eating people, making them explode, turning into smoke, going into their throats. You said you had seen some other trailers that, were, that made you think it was a different sort of movie. So is this a horror movie? Is it a comedy? Is it a love story? Is it a drama? The answer is yes. Is it an action movie? Once again, the answer is yes. Yes. You heard of John Wick? This movie is John Wicken. I know, bad pun, boom, 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 but it really is. It really is. It uh, centers upon the main character. I don't know the guy who plays Renfield in this movie. Uh, he'll look that up while I'm talking. Uh, but it centers upon Renfield, who is uh, pretty much narrating the whole story of how he has a terrible job and his boss sucks. No pun intended. Because he is a familiar to Dracula. And they have all kinds of stuff throughout the movie that shows things that had happened in the past and how his job as a ghoul or a familiar... Um, is in charge of getting blood and bodies and stuff to uh, make sure Dracula is powerful enough. Um, this guy's name is Nicholas Carada Holt. Nicholas Holt. Nicholas Holt. Um, okay, I've never really heard of him. He's obviously British, but that's fine because I'd have to say he does a fantastic job in this. And um, if anyone was wondering if Nicholas Cage uh, was going to be either 10% Cage or 100% Cage, what do you think was the percentage of Cageness he brought to this role as Dracula? It's, uh, Honestly. Nick, no. On Nicholas Cage playing Dracula. Nicholas Cage being a nutcase Nicholas Cage, this is a 9. That was 100% Nicholas Cage. Yeah, 100 I, I was going to say 9 out of 10. I think he had a little bit of parts where he was uh, acting subdued. Yes, yes. Yeah. So the whole... I mean, Dracula is a manipulative bastard. Oh, very manipulative. But the whole plot of this movie is basically almost like a weird twisted rom-com where Renfield is basically realizing his life is meaningless because of what's happened. He's tired of working for a boss that doesn't respect him. And there's even parts where he goes to this uh, almost like an AA sort of meeting with people that are down on their luck or that are depressed, and he's discussing with them. It uh, is you know, you know, AA. Well, 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 basically, you know, people that are That's depressed that they want to be better with their lives. And um, as uh, the story progresses, there's some side plots going on with a, a cop who's a total badass cop. Smoking hot, badass Played foul mouth. by Aquafina. Aquafina. <laughs> but, you know, as, as the story progresses, um, lots of violence happens, um, and basically Dracula realizes Renfield is basically not wanting to be as familiar anymore, so he decides, you know what, fine, screw you. 
And he kind of ends up teaming up with a, a, a big drug dealer gang that is like uh, so high tier, they pretty much own all of the police department as well. Um, honestly, it's got massive gore. It's got massive epic John Wick fight scenes. Some of the fight scenes are brutal. These, very, very brutal. These scenes make Deadpool seem tame. It's got more gore than Deadpool. It's um, it's it's a funny drama oh, slash cool. horror flick that even has some ties in the beginning that goes back to like a classic black and white uh, version of Dracula, like the good old classic days of a. Uh, oh, it even has a part to it that harkens back to like the classic black and white Christopher Lee. Um, you know, Dracula, which is really cool as they progress through. And it takes place in modern time, yep. but super violent, super gory. R-rated movie, by it, the way. It, it earned an R rating, super foul mouth, super gory violence, massive fight scenes. A lot of red band trailers. A lot of red band trailers before it, too. Um, good story, funny, yep. great acting. Nicolas Cage was like, I gave a 9 out of 10, he gives a 10 out of 10. Honestly, if you want to see a funny, gory, um, you know, action-packed movie, imagine taking, like I said, John Wick. And no, no, no joke. Take John Wick, combine it with Deadpool, combine it with a love story, a comedy, and throw in Nicolas Cage as Dracula, and you got Renfield. But Deadpool Two was a love story. Yes, but this one was better. This one was better. You know, in the end. Out no, of a one out of ten, one. I have to give this movie, I can't say it's perfect, so I can't give it a ten, but I'm giving it nine vampire teeth out of ten. In terms of how entertaining it was, action-packed, gory, the acting was phenomenal, the effects were top-notch. Yes, the story's stupid, but let's be honest, if you have a realistic story, it's not going to be entertaining. I mean, after all, this, this is a movie about Nicolas Cage's Dracula... What do you expect? But out of a out of a one out of ten, what do you give this? A one. No, nine point five. A nine point five out of ten. Okay, I was gonna be like, man, you suck. Um, but in the end, can we actually recommend you go see Renfield? Most certainly, go see Re Renfield. This movie deserves people to see it for what it is. It has all these aspects in it that meld together in a perfect, entertaining movie. The characters are well done. The dialogue can be kind of corny, but honestly, for what this movie was, I didn't know what it was. So I love this movie. The movie forms a circle of trust. It, yeah, it forms a circle of trust. Hopefully that circle ain't made out of cocaine. <laughs> spoilers, man. Spoilers. <laughs> But seriously, go see Renfield. Just remember, it's not for the faint of heart. If you can't handle gore, I wouldn't recommend it. But if you want to see an action-packed, gore-fest movie that is funny, that's got heart, that's got characters you love, and, and it's also got a badass, super over-the-top Nicolas Cage, like the classic Cage of Yore, definitely go see Renfield today. This was Nate, a.k.a. Devil Dog, here with Dead Man Bones. And we want to say thank you for watching this video. Please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, leave lots of comments below. If you plan on seeing Renfield, if you have any questions that we didn't answer that you'd like to know, we can answer them for you. And remember, here at Devil Dog Gaming, we always end our videos by saying, have fun, play hard, and remember, people, the devil is in the details, baby. Peace out until next time.